hello this is bb's angels forever and i have a new update um on my channel from crafting to daycare provider from home which i'm starting pretty soon and this is just a routine and a video of what it looks like and it's a small space so i'm coming down the stairs and i will put my gate that will be the process and this is where the parents will come in the kids will put the shoes here, hang up their jacket, the parents will sign in. I do have a welcoming sign in. Um, and here is my signing sheets. And here is my kitchen. And this is where I keep my printer for all the paperwork that I need. Um, this is where the children would eat. I do have four chairs. And then it's my dining room. That's my living room. I will close those doors. And here's my living room space. This is where I sit in the morning and do my paperwork and check my email and stuff like that. And here is my daycare space. And this is dealing with a very small daycare space. I mean, it's very homey, very comfy. And the daycare that I'm doing is only allowing six kids most likely i'll probably take four i'm not sure yet we'll see how it goes um but this is what it looks like i've seen a lot of videos on youtube and it kind of shows you how to um work with small spaces and this is what i did so i took this extra room and i converted it into the daycare so this here would be um the entrance of the daycare And this is where I would keep the children's diapers and extra clothes and stuff like that. And blankets. Um, the TV's up here. Um, we will watch TV in the morning. That's going to be my routine until breakfast is done. Um, or we will watch learning um, videos and stuff like that. So here's the reading area. Those are the napping uh, mats. This um, playpen here, in case I do get an infant. This is the view from the window. I do have to work on the yard a little bit. Um, we did divide it. We put the fence in the middle. Um, so we have to work on that. And this is what this looks like from this view. So there's the gate. I'm thinking of leaving the gate there. Um, because you can actually move it if you wanted to on the weekends, but it's just a hassle for me. So I'm just going to just leave it there. And I do have my children coming over sometimes, so it doesn't really bother me. And this is the second um, room that I'm going to show you. Um, here it goes. So this is the new addition that we did. Um, we finished it. It was just... Um, a room that was just doing nothing so we just put she rock and we closed it all in and put a heating system and there it is so it's just working with small spots here small spaces um this is not a big daycare but it's comfy it's very homey and i like it um so yeah this is what it looks like I'm coming down the stairs i have this um bulletin board and I will actually write the breakfast, lunch, snacks so the parents will know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the parents come through here, through the back in the summer. I'm not too sure because it's easier for the kids to go in the cubbies and hang up their jackets and stuff like that. But it's winter's coming, so we're gonna do it through the front right now. So yeah, this is a little play area that I created here with the um, somewhat dramatic play. And this is a little table and this is where I keep some of the uh, kids cubbies those are gonna be the cubbies and the stuff on the top is just supplies that I've been using I'll be using excuse me and yeah so this is where I fenced in the yard so it's just half halfway fenced it's just easier and I didn't have to take um, my son's playground and playhouse away because they wanted that thing to come down if you you know 
so I just rather fence it and that's exactly what I did so I don't want him to lose that and this is it this is what I have here so I do have that um, those two little shelves there dividing that dramatic area and very small but very cozy and it's only six children so it's not that bad because I do have that um, space on the top so I did watch a lot of videos on YouTube um, on how to work with small spaces and this is what I came up with um, this is my bulletin board that I'll be changing for the kids and you know for the season it's fall so I figured that would be so cute for them and I am dealing with a lot of little infants and toddlers and they'll enjoy it this is where I keep all my like paperwork curriculum for the kids and yeah that's it so it's just a few toys down here blocks stuff like that my crafting paperwork and this is a pretend area that I created for them I do have more stuff but I actually don't want to put everything out because they will make a mess I noticed that on some of the videos that some of the providers do the more you have the more they will kind of like won't even play with it they just like throw it around so this is the plan just kind of have a little bit of everything in a little spot so they could play with them and enjoy it and then I'll switch it around because I do have a lot of stuff up in my attic stored away for the children and I would definitely um, change it around I like this room it's actually um, this was gonna be our sunroom but we're not using it we're not doing anything with it so this is what I came up with and hopefully it will work and my children my grandchildren could still use it and my son so yeah that's what it looks like I like the fact that the ceilings are a little bit higher so it has um, it kind of gives you that um, breathing um, feeling because it feels like it's bigger than it actually is um, so yeah so it's really comfy I love it so far so good this is when my son comes and watches TV after his um, he gets out of school he gets out at 2 o'clock so yeah he enjoys it as well so yeah that's it just wanted to show you a little bit of um, what I came up with with small spaces and yeah that's it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy bye